Uy! Uy, welcome back to my channel, Tech Club Tonyo. Ito na naman yung bata nyo si Tonyo. Meron tayong bago mga load, so stay put lang kayo dyan. Um, in today's video, meron tayong re-review in uh, mechanical keyboard. Um, ito siya. Ang um, uh, Red Dragon Mitra K551 uh, RGB version. So, kapit lang tayo dyan mga loads dahil uh, unboxing muna tayo. Okay? So, meron siyang double shot injection, molded keycaps, aluminum plate at ABS plastic case. Sa likod, may sticker for the keyboard model and serial number. Weird na glossy letter M shape, emboss pattern, I guess M4 Mitra. Keyboard stands with rubber feet. It also comes with gold-plated USB connector which is a nice touch and anti-rust na din. Although hindi braided yung cable, meron naman siyang ferrite core to prevent interference. At may velcro tape na included para sa mahabang cable. I was hoping na braided yung cable niya for durability pero makapal naman pala yung cable niya and may haba na 1.5 meters. For the size comparison, sa taas ay ang Rocklam ang light, isang 10 keyless keyboard. May review din tayo nyan, so guys, check it out naman. Stress out ko lang to guys, although TKL si Lam ang light compared kay Red Dragon Mitra, mas menipis ang bezel case ni Mitra. Sa lighting modes naman, hindi ko na i-specify masyado. It's for you guys to discover. Pero the usual combination of keys are FN key or any of the following. Insert, home, and delete, page up, and page down key. FN plus up and down arrow keys naman for brightness. And FN plus right arrow key for color selection. Sa switch naman, medyo curious ako kasi walang info sa website nila about sa specific type ng switches na ginamit. Pero may claim si Red Dragon na cherry blue equivalent daw ang switches for this keyboard. However, medyo hawig sila ng Otemu Red switch na meron si Lam Ang Light. So for the sake of science at dahil malakas kayo sa akin, let's do an experiment. Pag palitin natin ang switch ng up-arrow key nila and uh, let's test it out kung gagana. And here we go. Ayun, gumana. Napili ko nga pala siya for 1,990 pesos sa Shopee. Share ko lang din itong issue na na-encounter ko when I downloaded the software and uh, tried to run the program. Hindi ko alam kung issue ito sa PC ko or sa software mismo for this keyboard. If may idea kayo guys for a fix or a workaround, please comment down below. It would be much appreciated. A little bit of background lang about this keyboard. So, this keyboard belongs to my girlfriend. Uh, kailangan niya ng my lights na keyboard and good for typing. Kasi lights off siya pag nagtatrabaho. That's why I uh, recommended this. 
work from home setup sila and ginamit niya to for her work that uh, requires her to input data so sanda makmak na typing for 8 hours 5 days a week and uh, more than a month na niya ito ginagawa since we received this keyboard as uh, you can see wala pang issue any of its keys For FPS gaming naman, although tactile at clicky siya and mas ideal siya for typing, average pa din naman yung performance niya for gaming. Responsive naman lahat ng keys when pressed at walang input lag. On this keyboard kasi ramdam mo yung konting resistance. Hindi naman siya malaking issue or a deal breaker for me nonetheless. However, for FPS gaming, I would recommend getting a mechanical keyboard na may switch na light at easy to press. Like the rack lamp ang light na may OTEMU red switches kasi taxing talaga sa daliri yung mga FPS games since it requires your character to move a lot. May review din ako for that keyboard kaya check it out din mga loads pag may time. Alright, so kung nandito pa kayo loads, uh, salamat. Nandito na tayo sa pros and cons segment. No? So, dalawang cons and then dalawang pros afterwards. So, unayin muna natin yung cons Number one con sa akin is uh, simple lang uh, yung USB cable I was hoping na sana braided siya for additional strength or integrity pero uh, so far so good naman makapal naman yung, uh, yung USB cable pangalawa is yung sa, sa switch or sa switches na ginamit although may claim si Red Dragon na equivalent daw yung switches ng Cherry MX Blue. Preferred ko kasi at least Otemo or any other Chinese generic made na switches. Kasi uh, let's say Otemo switches yung ginamit dito. Ang, ang dali lang niya hanapin if ever na gusto natin or kailangan natin na magpalit ng switches. Kung masira man or uh, trip lang natin mag, mag try ng iba. Okay, so yun lang naman. So, pros, number one is yung pricing. For 1,990 pesos nung time na binili ko siya, sulit talaga kasi. Uh, kita nyo naman yung design, yung build quality, uh, and kilalang brand sa China, yung Red Dragon. So, talagang hindi siya ganun ka generic na mechanical keyboard. So, yun. Uh, pangalawang pros para sa akin is yung design okay? yung angas ng bezel niya ang nipis uh, actually mas manipis siya compare sa rock lamp ang light na meron ako by the way meron tayong review niyan guys so check it out and uh, ang, ang, ang angas ng design niya eh. parang may hawig siya sa case ng Royal Clutch Mechanical Keyboard. So, gan ganun siya kanipis. Marerecommend ko to sa mga work from home uh, na lodi natin dyan or mga freelancers natin na uh, after work gustong mag-gaming. Uh, uh, so, marerecommend ko talaga to dahil sulit na sulit sa price, sa design, sa build quality. Kung nagustuhan nyo yung video guys, uh, please click the like button. Kung hindi, meron naman tayong dislike button for that. Uh, share nyo na rin sa mga tropa nyo naghahanap ng mechanical keyboard uh, na full layout. And uh, uh, subscribe. Okay, kung may time. Pag nag-subscribe kayo guys, actually, sisweretein kayo sa buong uh, year, 2021 or next year. And uh, pagpapalain kayo matindi. So, thanks for watching and uh, see you again next time, guys. Take up to you. Subscribe.